Hi, um, I called you guys about three years ago and I just wanted to thank the person that I spoke to and I don't even know if she's still there or if it's possible to do that. I don't really remember her name, but um, it was the person that took my call and she was just really helpful and I've talked to some people about it recently and I just wanted to call back and just thank her. So is there any way to find out who she was? What was your call in reference to, or because I just want to make sure you have the right program. Okay, yeah, I was diagnosed with HIV and I made a call. I was just lost that week. I didn't know who to talk to and I just wanted to thank her again. But it was like, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, is your name Jennifer? It is! <laughs> oh my God, is this? I don't know if you, if I was the one you spoke with, because I take all the calls and then I know Elaine. It was, nurse, okay, it was, a, yeah, Elaine, Elaine was my nurse. She's still around? She is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. If I was there at the SCAP office with that, in that presentation, so I don't know if you're talking about me or someone else. Well, maybe, what was your name? I think maybe you came up to me after I somebody came up to me after and said I took your your phone call and I was like I mean I literally just did a YouTube video about it because that phone call was like it meant everything to me you guys have no idea I was so lost for like four days do you think it was you well I, I take all the calls and maybe I don't want to take credit for something <laughs> that I, <laughs> I may not have done but I usually take all the calls unless it was someone on call that day, but I do know that uh, you also spoke to Elaine, the nurse, and she keeps managing for a while. Oh, it was you then. It was you, because you were the one who took my call first and then was able to like tell me, like, like basically you just made me feel like I definitely called the right place and everything was going to be okay. I mean, I was just... I was a mess. It had been four days of a lot of confusion with the wrong doctors and not knowing and um, yeah, I don't even remember how we found out to even call you guys, but it was just, it, it was awesome, so. Well, that kind of sounds like something I would say. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. Yeah, and I and then I met you at the, um, I'm forgetting uh -huh. the name of that event where we kind of spoke out. It was Encompass, Encompass. Yeah, yeah they had, Encompass. yeah, and in my video, people have said, you should go back and tell them thank you because it really means, there's a lot of nurses that follow me and they're like it means so much to people when you let them know so I just I wanted to thank you again and let you know that I've never forgotten that call and it made you know it, it meant everything to me really I mean it was just such a nice feeling to know like somebody was actually there and was gonna help me really really huge I appreciate it if yeah. I was a person I appreciate it and, and that is no, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sound too cliche by saying that is my job, but I understand, you know, what people are going through because I'm also an HIV test counselor. Yeah. So the, the feelings involved and the, the shock and all that once someone is diagnosed. Right. So I am glad that you called and connected with us. And I am glad for a program like this yeah. to be available for the community to call and know that there is something that is available and that can help. Now, Jennifer, yeah. you know, I appreciate your call and, and what you're doing. And I think it's important because newly diagnosed individuals sometimes don't know where to go or they are afraid to, to speak out. And I know that you've been very yeah. open and yeah. you're helping a lot of people. I was just wondering if you could do me a little favor. Sure. Can you just give this information to my supervisor so she is aware because she's new? Yeah. And I think hearing something like this will actually, you know, make her realize how important it is to have, you know, someone taking the call, someone following up, mm -hmm. you know, and kind of doing a little bit of hand-holding at yeah. the beginning of something like this? Oh, for sure. You tell me how to get a hold of her and I will call her and tell her exactly. Because I mean, there there's even a fear in just even making that phone call and saying, I have right. HIV and you don't even know how the person on the other end might react because you're still not sure you're calling the right place. And it's like, mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't get that from you. I just got, it was total warmth. Like, we're going to help you. I'll, I'll transfer you to her voicemail. And okay. if you don't mind, please leave a message. But I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Yeah. I would love to see what you have on YouTube. Should I just Google your name? I mean, YouTube your name, or how should I follow you? Yeah, just go on to, it's just under Jennifer. If you look up Jennifer on YouTube and HIV, my, my channel pops up, and the video that I recently did where I talked about you was, um, let me see, I gotta look it up really quick. 
I'm, I would love to see that. Yeah. It was a Monday vlog video that I did and it's called, it was actually about a doctor in Watsonville who gave me, he put me on a, the wrong prescription. I hadn't even had my CD4 back or my, my viral load and he put me on um, a triplo without having my phenotyping or genotyping done and it was like a triplo is an older medication and so it was really about that story and then I said, you know, what a mess that first week was. But the video is called, um, he gave me the wrong drug. I talked about, yeah, my phone call to you and how, uh, how, sp and of course I start crying in the video because I, <laughs> I cry in these videos all the time, but it was that moment that somebody was going to take care of me and it just, oh my God, it meant the world to me. So, oh, yeah. I'm so glad to hear that. That yeah. really makes a, um, me realize that how important it is for me to be on the other end. Oh, you, yeah, you don't even know how much you're helping people. Like, it's one of those, yeah, it's like those one of those things that you just don't ever forget when you're in the position of being diagnosed and just needing help. Yeah, it's it's a super scary place to be, so really. Well, I think it's yeah. wonderful what you're doing. Yeah. I think it, it is, because, you know, people are afraid to, to ask questions or seek help or go to groups and things like that. So For I sure. Think it's, great it's been an amazing experience, honestly. So I've been, I feel very lucky. I know it's always weird well, to say that, but I do, I feel really lucky. Well, yeah. you know, you have this opportunity to voice things, you yeah. know, that otherwise people would not be hearing. And I think that's important as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a, it's, there's so much stigma and shame associated with this. Mm -hmm. And it just, to me, is just so, oh, uh, it's like if there wasn't that stigma and shame, we'd probably have a lot better control of the whole situation, but unfortunately, right. you know, that's, know. It, it, it plays into all of it. So yeah, it's really that's unfortunate, true. but yeah, if you want to transfer me to your, um, your supervisor, I would love to leave a message for her. It's a her, Thank right? You, Jennifer. Yeah. Yes, it's a her. Thank okay. Thank you so much. Let me transfer you. Great uh, talking to you. You too. Have a great day. Thank you. Hold okay. On. Uh huh. Bye. It's not available. Record your message after the tone. When you've finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, um, my name is Jennifer Vaughn. I just wanted to leave a message. I, I had called her today um, because I had made a phone call to her about three years ago when I was diagnosed with HIV and I had had a really rough week with some doctors in Watsonville that didn't really know where, what to do with me, so to speak, and um, somebody directed me to the care team. When she took my call that day, she was so kind and caring, and I felt like I finally had found the right place to go, and somebody cared about what I was going through. And so I just wanted to call and let you know how important she is to me, and it's in my story, and I've just always remembered that phone call to her, and um, that she was able to lead me in the right direction. So I just wanted, I actually called her today just to like tell her like how much that meant to me and that I've never forgotten her. that phone call or talking to her. It made me feel like somebody cared. I just wanted to let you know that and um, she's an awesome woman and I'm so glad she's still there and was able to uh, take my call today so I could tell her that. So sorry for the long message, but I just wanted to make sure it all made sense. Okay, thanks so much, bye-bye.